Hello everyone, welcome. My name is C. Rahul Kumar. In this video, I am going to discuss five ways to write batch transfers, especially focusing upon the paper number two. Okay, so first, you should write to the point introduction. So we are running the test series daily answer writing program. We are uh, evaluating the copies of the uh, student. And I find one big mistake. They re keep writing long introduction, half page, full page introduction. No, that is not required. Okay, so how much should be the length? You should write maximum 10% of the word limit. Okay, so for example, in 10 marker, 10 words, uh, sorry, uh, 150 words is the total limit. So you will write 115 words in the introduction. In 15 marker, 200 is the expected words, so 20 words. Okay, 20 marks. 250 words is the maximum word limit, 25 words you should write in the introduction. This should be the length, okay? Because every, every sentence is important, okay? Now, how, what exactly write in the introduction? You can write the definition. You can explain the keywords given in the context statement. You can write about the current context. You can write about the quotation. This is also a very good way, okay? We are giving the quotation in our study material in every topic, okay? And apart from this, you can give the context of the topic. You can give the need or significance, okay? Okay, and even you can make a small micro diagram. And as far as possible, please use the thinker name in the definition, in the idea in the interlinking, okay? The more you use a thinker, the better you get the marks. Second, body. In the body, please answer every subtopic. So every question has uh, two or three subtopics. You should identify every subtopic and you should write the subheading for every subtopic separately. Subheading, the word should be taken from the question. So take the question's word for the subheading. For example, if they're asking, disadvantage and advantage then you should write disadvantage and advantage if they're asking problems and solutions you should write the word problems and solutions the word which are given in the question itself the same word you should write as a subheading why so that examiner can identify the, yeah, this uh, that that uh, this particular uh, answer is this particular area of the answer is uh, talking about this particular talk uh, question or subtopic right now Third important thing is that you have to balance. Suppose there are two subtopics which are being asked in the question, so you have to focus equally, okay? At least, if not equally, then maybe 60% or 40% in between uh, first and second topic. This should not be imbalanced, okay? So you should balance the content, okay? You should balance the content. Next, in the diagram, in the diagram, you should have two kind of diagram. One which are the thinkers diagram. So if you are writing some content and there is a thinkers diagram, you must make it. But if it is just for the sake of presentation, it is not compulsory, however it is recommended, okay? In making the diagram, some people ask me, sir, should we explain the terms given in the diagram? So my answer is, if the terms are self-explanatory, then no need to explain. But if the terms are very technical, which are not commonly known, then you should explain them in one one line, okay? This is another way. Next, value addition. This is very important. Now, in the value addition, what I will suggest is, suppose you are writing one answer, like change management, okay? And in the change management question, you are asking, uh, like the examiner is asking reasons of changes in the organization, okay? So in this case, what you'll do, you write, for example, internal causes and external causes. Now in the internal causes, you have four point. Now what will you do? In the first two point, you will write the example or fact, and you will explain them properly. And last two point, you will just write one one line or title. So you should do the value addition in approximately minimum 30% content or maximum 50% content, not in every content. For value addition, examples should be authentic, not very common example or very general example. They should be relevant. You should link the example with the particular topic so that it makes sense. 
and also you should make the diagram which are more uh, authentic and you should make the new diagram which are not available otherwise anywhere for that you have to follow multiple book and we are giving this diagram in our uh, new material that has been released for the paper 2 next the process of answer writing the problem with the people is that they directly start writing the answer they start actually writing the answer directly no first step is brainstorming that what should be the content what should be the introduction how many word i will write as introduction how many word i will write in the body how many write i will write in the conclusion what kind of diagram i will make what kind of example i will write everything you have to think in advance who uh, whose idea i will use which thinker is relevant here everything you have to think in advance and then you write the structure like like a google map you have to write the exact structure and after that only you start writing the answer this process should be followed in the initial time later on after some time you can ignore this you can start directly writing the answer once your habit is developed okay so initially when you're writing the answer please develop the habit right developing the right habit is more important develop develop the habit of brainstorming develop develop the habit of making the structure and then only start writing the answer okay after some time maybe after two three months you will automatically start writing good answers then no need to separately make the structure you think and you write okay so these are the ways and there are more mistakes which people are making i will make more videos i will share more uh, ideas than how to write the better answers i will make a separate video on the paper one also for more uh, ideas you can join our telegram channel and the youtube channel uh, link of that youtube uh, and the telegram we are posting in the description also i am conducting a regular workshop mostly on every sunday there is a workshop in the workshop i deal with the personal queries uh, timeline what should be the plan how to prepare what mistake people are making and all of that i am discussing i can give you personalized guidance so you can call our uh, people the number is given in the chat box and we will support you all the best